Oh. Alright, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Beyond the Summit Southeast Dyer Asia team Season 3. Uh, the game between Team Gilbai Minesi from Philippines versus TNC Pro Team from Philippines in base of 3 series. This is game number 2, guys. Radiant and the current team score back. is Gilbai Minesi 0, CNC Pro Team 1. You're here with me, Cyclops, as your caster. Thank you so much for tuning in. It was. Um, it was pretty fast and surprisingly, uh, surprisingly, um, short game for the first game of the series. Seems like it might be nasty, uh, um, they got, you know, the favorites in, 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 in this, in this series, they, they don't have remaining. a, enough, any more space to, they can't have force any mistake. Remaining. They gotta win this one, they gotta get their, their, uh, concentration back time. trying to win the game you know I think last game you by Nesky lost because of the draft TNC pro team fourth draft which is a slaughter that is really huge huge draft from kill by Nesky and, and I kind of think that we might see kill by Nesky draft a slaughter this game Hi to all the guys in the chat room, thank you so much for tuning in. And yep, they Radiant spent quite much time. Wait! Dire team pick. Wait la! First picks win! How come? I never seen things like this before. First picks win from TNC Pro Team. Really, really weird. Ten seconds remaining. All Five right, guys. Remaining. Now, first two pick from Goodbye Minetsky. Got a lot of heroes to pick. They can. Oh, it's gonna be a faceless void. Dire team pick. And a party hunter. Radiant team. Uh, Game by Minesi really loves to play this party hunter. Face is why they play sometimes. If it didn't get banned. Last game Weavers actually not didn't work for Game by Minesi. You know they lost to a Chen. It could be a Chen again in this game for TNC Pro Team. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Say hi to my friend in the chat Reserve room, time. Hades, daughter. I thought you were in uh, in the army or something. Second pick from TNT Pro Team. And yep, like I said, it's gonna be a Chen again. Because Chen is strong. Chen is love. I mean, he is really, really strong in 6.86. If you take a look in that Dota, you see the stats that uh, more than 10, uh, more than 1,000 game of competitive games in, um, in 6.86. A team with a Chen or Enchantress got like 60% chance to win the game. 60% win rate. That is really high, time. you know. Radiant team back. Ten seconds remaining. Ten seconds remaining, and this game is going to be even worse for Gigabyte Minesi because PNC Pro Team already banned out the Enchantress. It's going to be quite easy, but um. But this Faces War is also good against this kind of hero, Chen, you know, just dumped in Chronosphere and trying to buy Chen in the Chronosphere. 
It's gonna, not gonna be that easy to kill Chen because he's quite tanky. He, he, he's gonna go for a Guardian 3. A lot of armor on Chen, a lot of animals. You try to reach him, you're gonna get stunned by Centaur or a net. Dire team ban. Invoker ban. I still prefer PNC this game. I, I like that first two pick and I like how they ban. Ten seconds remaining. But it might be a little bit harder for Shen because this Five game you buy Minetti remaining. got a bounty hunter, they're gonna use this bounty hunter maybe by Jesse Rash to to Reserve hunt him time. down in um or maybe just trying to stand still and, and, and Dire team pick suck some experience out of chain farming. So uh, I think ENC gonna make sure that they can deal with the bounty hunter. Out for the bar of bed. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Juggernaut banned by Kigabai Mineski. Kinda weird they banned Juggernaut when when TNC already got got a swing. They think that TNC is gonna use the Juggernaut as a mid laner. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Gyrocopter for Gigabyte BSD. That's another good carry against the pushing strategy with his black and can easily remaining. kill the Shen's animal. Five seconds remaining. And the fact that Gigabyte Minesi already banned out that juggernaut is gonna make that Gyrocopter even stronger in late game. But look at the third pick from TNC Pro Team, it's the Shrek. The Shrek, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a core, the Shrek, it might be a mid lane. I don't think it's going to be a support. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Which doctor? Now the pick of Team Gear by Mineski just started to weaken TNC Chen. With a witch doctor, with a gyrocopter, all these heroes are very Ten good against Chen. Remaining. And they having the Ember Spirit. So I think it might be a Lashrak support. Uh, dual lane with Sven. Started off with um, Storm Hammer, then follow up with a Split Turret. Ember Spirit mid. Ten then farming. They still remaining. need an off lane for TNC Pro Team. They are Prophet fan. Lone Druid. Reserve time. Five seconds remaining. I don't think it's gonna be a lone druid because if they <clears throat> pick lone druid, it's gonna be too greedy pick pick. for TNC pro team. Now this one's gonna be a mid laner. Slada still in the pool. It might be Slada for TNC Pro Team once again. Who knows? 
or even Slada for a Zeus for Gigabyte Mineski. Radiant team pick. But the thing is, they they, they pick Zeus against again Ember Spirit. I'm not sure is that a good idea because Flame God gonna hurt Zeus so bad. Now this one gonna be an off lane, maybe something that can initiate, maybe a Tide Hunter. What do you think? I hunter Zeus. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Last 30 seconds for last pick. Brood mother. Oh man, last pick, brood mother. Last week, Brood Mother. I I don't know if if you say is a is a good pick for in PNC Pro Team. I would say not actually because because Gigabyte Minesi got um got a Bounty Hunter, but still picking in a Brood Mother. Now it depends on the lane. I really have no idea, man. You know, picking Broodmaster into a Bounty Hunter and a Faceless Void and also a Zeus. Okay. Ten seconds remaining. Alright guys, we are in the game already. I'm gonna do some quick intro here to play who for team PNC in the Radiant side. The AU on Swen, Kihi on Ember Spirit, with the D Smalls on on Chen, Raven on the Shrek, Sam H on the Brood Mother, in a the Dire side. The Raiding Potato on the Body Hunter, Danny Tass on the Witch Doctor, Jesse Wet on Faces Void, the Cuckoo on Zeus, and Jules on the Pyrocopter. Actually, this is going to be a Raven core hero, so the Shrap mid. With a Swen support by AU. Wow. Man, this Swen with his button knife or something. <laughs> it looks so ugly. <laughs> this is the ugliest sword of Swen i ever seen, man. It looks like, hey, are, are you gonna. Use it to cut the butter or something, or maybe you know, cut some lasagna. Thirty seconds to back. Jesse Wash. Very nice reward. Fifty go and a level. Look at the level. The battle begins. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh. So, alright, let's take a look at the lane. In the middle lane, of course, it's gonna be an Ember Spirit versus Zeus. Bottom lane is a Swen as a support with the Shrek hard carry. Up lane is Brute Mother. Oh, 
Oh, now nah, let's take a look at this Brood Master. It's gonna be hard lane for Brood Master. You gotta face a lot of sentry. The detection. I really wonder why the Minesky picked this Zeus into an Ember Spirit. Just one small disable spell from his teammate can easily kill the Zeus. Top lane drone master. Oh, that is that is a sentry war. Pop the dust. But kind of waste that. He he was too near to the tower. They gotta let him go. Another mistake made by Team Inesti. That is 50 gold of dust. And that sentry brought down again. Now no sentry, no detection on Brute Master. Still got another dust. And they're having problem dealing with the with the spider. It's kind of hard for Minesi, I kind of understand, because it's a spider last pick. There is no way for, for uh, Minesi to counter that last pick spider and then they have to go straight to into the game. Very good lane for spider. The Shrek farming pretty okay. 13 last hit for the Shrek. Dredging potato, trying to gank mid, see he. Flame guard level 2, I'm not sure is that enough. Dredging potato, searing chain, try to buy- Oh, that was close! He followed up his magic wand and pump, uh, pump the bottle. That is really close. As I told you, flame guard is so strong against the spells. Jesse Rash, still level 2, trying to buy someone. Trying to buy Chen farming in an NC. Chen having a good farm, Sam having a good farm, Brute Master, everything is good for Team TNC. That lane is work. Winter G Small Sun already at level 3. There's no way they can stop the Brute Master from farming right here. Middle tower is under attack. To the top lane, smoking for the first time, leading by Winter G Small Sun and also the mid laner going in for Raging Potato. They might coming from behind, but they don't have any detection. Oh, they have, they have a chin. That that's are they gonna go in? See he fire ram dancing is gonna be the first big team fighter of the game. It's gonna be a double damage. See he wags the flame guard, he forgot to power his flame guard or something. Finally, he powers his frame card. We got another fire ram that the owner of Rocket Barrage gonna kill the Winter T Small Sun. And yes, Zeus, the TP down, he gonna kill the he he the flame guard chopped him down, fire ram dance away. But how can he survive from that? Root Mother is looking for the chance to go in trying to sap someone. Still on his double damage for Tee Hee. Fire ram then where he is? He doesn't have mana to do the fire remnant. He can put the remnant. He doesn't have any mana. He might come back after. Radiance middle tower. Yeah, he might come back after he he respawn. Face created for the bottom lane. Blitzer. Jesse Red is gonna time walk away. When with another storm hammer, someone TP down. It's gonna be a big doctor. Went went into Dave. There's no way 
Um, no time to retreat, so he just got a man fight, but uh, Raging Potato is right here. Shot double power, they got two this one. Nice one by King by Minensky. And a big mistake by TNC. You know, they're kind of greedy. They, they, their game is, is good, but you know, if they doing some bad dive like that, by like giving a chance to giving Minesh the opportunity to catch up. So I kind of like how this guy play Emperor Street playing super aggressive. He's not farming at all. He's just gonna keep uh, ganging left and right. Now he's coming back to the left side again. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Take a look at the graph. Still on TNC side about Golden next year. Dyer's top tower is under uh, attack. This spider gonna be Radiant's a biggest threat in the middle attack. game because it's so hard to catch the spider. He's fast. He's invisible. Dyer's top tower has fallen. And he's just got the top tower. Uh, trying to catch this attract. 636 HP, so easy to kill. The track. Oh, Ember Street to finish someone in the middle lane. The track from his Diabolic Edict. Die because of the Zeus. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Kuku is on killing spree. He's still not safe for, from Ember Street. It is so easy for Ember Street to Dyer's kill that Zeus. He activated his attack. flame guard, flying Dyer's in, staring shame, hit him maybe a few times. There's nothing much that Zeus can do against Ember Street. Now top lane, Sam is pushing in. I think Minesi have to abandon the top lane. They, they, they can't stop this Root Master anymore. Now Gyro Captain might get caught in the top lane and fire Red Nanting. He was waiting for that, so he dropped his fall down. But look how fast you see he can take down the Gyro Captain. Fire Red Nant away. Minergy Small Sun still hang around with his few animals. Raging Potato going straight to Minergy Small Sun. What kind of man are you? Root Master with the head of Ida. Game looking really bad, guys. For and Root Master with another power. They can't stop the spiders anymore. Chen with a coming in for Kuku. Doesn't have his. Uh, he doesn't have a mana to use his ultimate. And he, yes, when he uses it, if someone goes down. It's when he sees But It doesn't matter. It's a support. You want to win this game, you got to kill this brute Martha and another core hero. He he. Already got and look at that, brute Martha got a kill. You know when when you play support and you have to play against Dyer's a brute Martha, the bad attack. thing is you can you can Dyer's suddenly die in your own NC because there's a lot of webs here. You don't see where the spider is. The next thing you know, he's next to you, he's biting you, trying to turn you into a Spider-Man. And yeah, the next thing you know, you're just becoming a spider. Becoming a part of the brute master. Radiance <laughs> Oh man. He got the kill. Ember Street is kind of fear. Now, oh, nice catch. Not a good trade for Tee Diving in, get one support, and now look at this one. Top lane. This lane, you cannot do anything with this lane anymore. You just gotta, you got just gotta accept it and let it go. Root Master 2.1 take on his pocket. He could go for the next item, Orchid of Malevolence. On me just going for some. Not sure yet. Maybe a lot near. Yeah. 
the trap with a casual cloak. Just gonna buy that cloak to reduce the fifteen percent. Win as a support. Again, it's on the bottom lane with the track trying to push the bottom towers. Top lane pushing in non stop by the brute master. Six K gold in his bucket, two point seven. They're gonna start the fight with them. It's a toy uh, jumping in. Very nice catch on that the trap first. They're gonna get another kill uh, with a double kill. But meanwhile, on top lane, they're gonna TP back ASAP. It's gonna be Zeus. Bottom lane still shading on, a trap on Vinogy small son, trying to batch him, Chen dropping low. Ah! Triple kill for Kufu. And it's a trap kill, you know. Take a look at the graph, the graph is actually dropping to, to Gigabyte Mineski's side. Because of all the trap kills, trap kill matters. Now when you have a body hunter in your team, Keep in mind that you can come back in the game anytime because of the trap kill. Draven, I think he needs to bump up. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed the kill so there. The body hunter goes down. Trying to kill the brute father. Yup, and Brute Mother is on his way to Orchid and Melon. Swing with a tranquil boot. Swing support is also not bad. You know, he, he got... Dropping a dead ward, just was when... So trying so hard to fight, but that's a good uh, opportunity for team DNC to going in again. Let's go round two. Draven already activated his double addict, but they all retreat. They can't fight because it's always forward v5. Sam, gotta push top. Sam is level 11. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower Going in again. Put the pressure on Team Kill by Vinesh. The Barrel Copper coming back in. Trying to defend. Shooting on Spiderling. Getting some goals out of that. Bottom tower has fallen. Ember Street getting closer and closer to its um Bell Fury. Fighter already finishes off Cape of Maryland. Chronosphere and Abo, Chronosphere. Jesse Wedge is making a mistake and now it's a good chance for Tihi to coming in and got one kill and they might go in for that Zeus too. And that's it, the Spirit just end that monster kill. That is a big, big mistake made by... I was about to fall asleep on this game and then that mistake is waking me up. And look, that Ember Spirit got 850 gold from that kill. It's a double kill for Ember Spirit. Man, that big, big point in this game, you know. It's getting worse for Kill by Minesi, as you can see, but the graph is going up to TNT side. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. 
Fire remnant the way for Emperor's Grid. Really fast reaction by Emperor's Grid just now. He he saw something coming in and then he just clicked fire remnant the way. That was really fast. Well, I, I kind of understand this reaction because once you touch the, the ground, you, you're gonna need like 0 0.25 seconds to, to use this Chrono Spear. It's not that fast like usual, but like like it used to be before in like 6.82. Um, so, yeah, people can make a mistake. I'll take a look at the top lane. Fire Remnant, they're gonna get that Jewel. Dropping low, Jewel activated the magic wand. Time walking and time dilation. Now this is a very good chance for TNT to push the bottom lane and trying to get this kill and tower. It seems like TNT is pulling the strings now, trying to pull uh, Gigabyte Minesi left and right. And there's nothing much Gigabyte Minesi can do with that. They're gonna dance in TNT song. Top lane pushing in once again by fighters. Bottom lane retreat. Party Hunter coming in quite deep. Oh, quite a, quite a scary. We already checked that team TNT doesn't have any detection. So that's why he do it. Oh, that's a very good kill. A very good kill by Minesi Raging Potato. Uh, shooting the shuriken on the, on the creep and then just bounce. To the chain, team up with Pentecost Rod of Zeus. Never refuse gold given. 2.5k go in the brute mother park. So almost 3k go for the brute path. I'm not sure what his next item gonna be. Could be a BKB, you know. Radiance middle Ember Street is around 150 gold away from his Bell Fury. Party Hunter. Catch his damage, track on him. That might be the first time that they brought this Brute Master down. Finally. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a BKB for uh, the Brute Master. Quite important when you have to play against that Zeus. When gonna go for a Blade Mail. Bottom tower is under attack. Why going for a blink dagger first instead of getting a Vladimir up first? That that's quite interesting. Most of the boys always go for it. a brow boot, Vladimir, and then a blink. So you just get he get his power trail up first, and then get a blink. Dyer's bottom tower has been denied. Juice. Oh, a chronosphere. Team up in the fall down. That is easy to go on there. They need to keep something like this coming for you by Nessie if they want to come back in this game. Radiance Even though they are ahead in terms of killing score, 
but if you take a look at the graph, still on the TNT side. Ember spirit is quite bad. Oh, seems like Team TNC looking to challenge Gigabyte Minesi into a big team fight. They smoke up for the first time. Four heroes smoke up. Fighter on top. Now the fire raging potato. Sun on raging potato plays God. Killed on raging potato, body hunter goes down, but before he die, he track on that friend. He, he tried to chase out that Kubu. Here we go to call down, but call down, oh, call down, kill that friend though. Fire Remnant away, dropping a Dead Ward, that ring I Dead Ward, uh, Jesse Red doesn't have his ultimate, uh, Gyrocopter, the finish that made a kill, he he, made a kill streak broken by he he, and they gonna get that Chen though, Chen still alive, and he dies in the end, 3 now, triple kill for Jules, that is a big fight for Gilby Minesk. No alive, bro. Master, like I told you guys, is on his way to a black king bar. He was burst down so quick from that Zeus. And instead of getting a Vladimir who faces Roy, he he wanna go for. He's going for a mass of madness or something. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. And again, damn, he's just gonna fight. Now this time he activated his insertion, but insatiable hunter. Oh man, that's before he died, he gets rid of that career. Now he died three times in a row. He he needs to think that um what is actually happening? He always got trapped but now. Hey, you stop. Oh, that's what a good combo. So do see a call down. It is looking good and coming back to this game. They're gonna lose his winter sea smoke as well. Gyrocopter with another kill. That T he trying to man kind of chop that Gyrocopter down. Fire remnants in. They're gonna get the Jesse West. Slow him down. The searing chain. Stop him. Slave got a bit of double kill for T he. Pick up the Baradun as well. 2.8k gold in T he park. Radiance top top that kill. But yeah, Pharaoh Copter gained a lot of gold before he died. Got 500 gold. And this guy, the Bobby Hunter, are almost 700 gold. Now it's all about the brute master. When when will he, you know, uh, when will he be ready to 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 push with his teammates? Because. He keeps speed pushing like this and he got like three times in a row by by Chronosphere, by a track. So it might be the time that he has to stick with his teammates now. First row shine of the game will be very important for both teams. And his face is why just gonna go straight for a chronosphere instead of getting something like Vladimir.
Alright. Oh. I have to standing for a while here. Always have a neck cake when when you sitting too long. Guys, this is all the topic. It's all about the health. If you if you spend hours in front of the computer, um, you you should just standing or walking around every like thirty minutes to to release the stress on your neck. It's called office syndrome. Damage. So yeah, I'm I'm actually standing right now past this game. They're going into a Roshan pit. Ooh, a smoke, they're gonna lead by TV, smoke revealed already. What are they gonna do? AU is ready to go in. Throw a storm hammer. Dredging potato dropping low. TV needs to fly in right now and grab and finish that dredging potato. No more track killed. No more track gold. It's only you and a sword and Kuku just gonna go down. Fly some fish. Two's gonna be the next one. And it's a team wipe by Pachyan by Team PNC. Now it's a good chance for Team BNC to push in, trying to get the racks and fall back, get the get the ages. Skyrocopter did 3k damage done. But the track got 3.2k damage done. Now they need to fall back and get the power they're still trying to chase and that's it. Root Mother finished that too. Cool. They've got a glyph though. They, they got a defense without that zoo for at least one minute. Gonna lose his power for sure. He he with a BKB. Very good item choice instead of going for data loss. He went for a BKB that helped him survive in team fighter. Aiming for Tihi. Let's try dealing some damage. Let's see where it's really, really slow at half speed. You can't do anything with that. That was big big loss. They're almost coming back in this game for Gilbert Mineski, but that Roshan fight is just absolutely flawless play by Team TMC. Ken was trapped. And he was survived from the power down, but why is he standing still? Why is he standing still like that? He thought he died for sure, but he didn't. And then he died for real. Now Sam tries to walk back into a three line, trying to zoom away from that Jew. Jew is getting up a tra and the trap on another kill once again. Look at the damage produced by the trap. This is ridiculous. Shooting in. In City Mill Hunter, and that is his damage. So many mistakes made by. by thinking by Minesky in the last two team fights. Exactly. Things can turn around real quick in the Dota 2 game. Oh my. 24 to 24 game score. The track is gaining a lot of charges on his Bloodstone. 11 charges on the Bloodstone, 1.5k HP. So hard to take him down. A lot of damage coming out of the track. I would like to see the track with an Agony Scepter.
when with a dumb entrance and a blade mail. I, you know, I kind of like this when fought. Hey, you. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Uh, let me check something with the organizer. Three K going ember to the pocket. Okay, he's gonna go for the next item, mental style. Uh, he got hit by the missile. He was cracked by raging the fatal. Fire remnant away. Died. Still burn. Far, far away in the map. Nice TP back to the bottom lane. I gotta push this one, trying to finish the game. But I gotta be careful about the gyrocopter. He can produce a lot of damage in team fight from his black and on his tall down rocket barrage, whatever it calls. Look at this one, guys. Raven standing in front. He switches straight into into a strength. Who can go in the track box? Oh, Fire Remnant 6 seconds, D, and now he's inside the base, but Bruno Spears has hit that Raven. Raven still can use his ill to save himself, that's one target, and he's gonna land, and he's gonna drop a split trade on someone, with Doctor finished with the cheese balls, and then got that Raven down. The trap falls down, and still, this side kick by Minetti, still Minetti defense at, at the high ground. AU, gonna be in the west next one to go down. A light at the end of the tunnel of Team Gigabyte Minetti, they still can't hang on in this game. I think he, he just lost, had a waste his aces just now, he died. Radiance top tower is under attack. Two for two K go in the track. I think his next item needs to be something. Oh, a blink dagger. That's quite cool. Still can fight, man. Uh, for Gigabyte Minesi. As you can see, the crowd is dropping down to Gigabyte Minesi. They just need a good Chrono Spear. Basis wall Chrono Spear on, on some core heroes. Ember Strength, 4.2k go in this pocket. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna show you guys some items update. It's around 35 minutes in the game, you might have to see a long long game. Uh, if you ask me, I think Goodbye Minas is Got a high chance to come back in this game if they can defense one more time, get like three or four kills on PPNC. That is officially come back by Gigabyte Minesi.
Now top lane pushing in for Impa Spirit 5 part 3k is pocket. Next one Menta Style. Menta Style, Aya, Scotty. Maybe he's just gonna go straight for an Aya Scotty first. Or even the Daedalus. Gonna be a Daedalus. Now this guy is actually very quiet in, in late game for the Broodmaster. He's not that much having much impact in the game like like he used to in, in early game. So now you cannot do do a split push because a uh, Gigabyte Minesti have a body hunter. If he got trapped. So day nice is gonna farm for his assault grass. The key man of Team Gigabyte Minesti is this Gyrocopter. He he can deal ridiculous damage in this in, in the team fight. They, they gotta get rid of this this Gyrocopter first. But now he got a cup with a pale dominator, it's gonna be quite hard. He, he gonna drain a lot of oh oh wait a, a mistake a little bit mistake by Team Minensky. He's jumping in but he cannot find a target. Now blinking in, Spitzer the hit that faces wall, he's trying to time walk away, dropping a call down, but didn't hit anyone, only a swan. When it's on the front line a, a little bit too far away, he by is scared and just walk away. That was that was Close to the mistake for Gigabyte Nessie, you know. They use, um, they use the Thunder God's Rod to to open the team fight to to give them some vision. Faces war jumping in and cannot find any target. You know, to win or lose in team fight, you gotta take a look at this faces war. You play this hard hero, you gotta. You're gonna be ready for taking all the pressure on yourself. Face this void. Now he gonna he got an agony scepter. He gonna have like six second scepter duration. I don't think he got enough damage and attack speed to finish someone in his chronosphere. All he need to do is just blink in chronosphere and get the hell out of there. When we done. When? Look at this one first. How do you use this war cry? Three point two K gold in Brood Master Pocket. Yeah, we gotta take a look at some gold per minute charts. It's gonna be quite long game. But be careful for T here if he got caught in um in a chronosphere that that is Do you think he need a BKB for the Shrek? But if he going for a BKB, the fact is he might exactly. stuck in a chronosphere and uh, he doesn't have a chance to, to pop his BKB. So in this case, maybe going for more HP might be better, or maybe more armor. Rocket Mirage gonna kill him, they're gonna uh, track and finally part of the BKB for the spider. 
Stand him down, uh. slide him face. Uh. You can't stand in front of the gyrocopter like that. He got a lot of damage. Uh. Slide him face, they get rid of that gyrocopter. Now they chase the race. Uh. They're just gonna go for it. Kuku, Kuku walking up to the high ground. Fire remnant away here and there. Now you see me. Now you don't. Uh. Kuku walking away. He, he was trapped now, so he know where he is. Doesn't have any brain mana. Is he gonna go down? Uh, slide up it. Oh, that that right fire remnant to dodge the lightning. What a big place by both teams. Full of technique. Seems like a one fight by Gigabyte Minesi once again. Slide up fist coming back and Kuku dropping low. Four time himself win. Also huge up to he, he doesn't have any more charges of the fire remnant, so you gotta let him go. 4.2k go for Tihi, pick up the body rune. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Man, it's gonna be a totally different story if if um if Jesse Wedge locked that uh sorry. If Jesse Wedge locked that Ember Spirit down in his chrono field just now they can can kill that Ember Spirit. It's gonna be a disaster for Team P and C. Ember Spirit. Daedalus and 5k go in his pocket. Zero by eight zero second third attack for the Ember Spirit. Are they trying to catch a troll turn? Oh, they check it with a lightning bolt. No ward. Pushing top. The good thing of, of this Emperor's Red is he, he has Fire Remnant. He can he can just remnant fire remnant back like anytime. Into a Roshan pick. Now the Wild Wing Ripper. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Rating Potato, a little bit too in front, I think. Rating Potato, Bounty Hunter, he needs to be careful because there's a lot of TNT players around there. A track, and they got a kill on the sweat, and it's a track kill. Now it seems like TNT needs to retreat 44 minutes in the game. And a bot back right away by Sweat, and Chrono Spear on the chain. Uh, that is not a core hero while Ember Spirit is killing the race of his teammates. Fire Remnant away, I think he should keep his ultimate for that Ember Spirit. Fire Man two times in. Raven stuck in the call down, hit by one call down. Went, died back, he just bought back, he died. Two down for Team TNT. Jumping in once again, but Ember Spirit, the Fire Remnant away. Still don't know who's gonna come out with this game alive. The draft is say saying that TNT. He's on the lead. Fruit Martha looking to go in. Now here we go, the pop up his BKB, trying to force the screws out the road trying bit. Here we go, another Chrono Fear. This is one target, but they need to use the Chrono Fear on the core heroes of Raven. Raven, is he gonna go down? No, Raven's still alive. You set up to buy some time of gold come. He touched the ground, he died from the BKB for TE, where's the razor? Where is this guy doing? Sam, it's on the high ground. 
trying to buy someone that they lost their Emperor Spirit. Emperor Spirit buyback right away. He's just gonna buy Remnant back into the scene. Time is money. Sam cannot find a target. He was chasing someone on the top lane. I'm sorry, on around here, but and he can't even kill him. And it. And that is the road time for Kill by Minesi. Now the graph is dropping down to Kill by Minesi because that Gyrocopter is getting stronger and stronger in his team fighter. He's got 6.1k on his pocket. Enough to buy a new G to his on eBay. Bad in this point. When you have to play a sweat as a sport, that's what you get. You, you cannot do much because when need some item that can use the target, something like a blink dagger, while well, Gyrocopter already got his satanic. Next item should be a divine rape here for the Gyrocopter. Man, if TNT loses this game, it's gonna affect their last game for sure. The morale is very important. Gyrocopter gonna push more. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys some items update right here. Hey, you. Not sure what's it gonna go for this item. The BKB would be great. I don't think so, you know, that the reason that he dies is not because of all the spells of things here by Nessie. The reason that he died because he's always stuck in a blue dome. Yeah, and he was hit by, um, Faces Boy. This is why also fat got 3.8k gold in his pocket. Oh, they caught Winter Cheese Mouse on. Hand of God, that is very big catch for Winter Cheese Mouse on. Here we go, the call down. I'm um, team they need to ditch him. But nobody wanna stuck in the call down. I don't think Winter Cheese Mouse on have a buyback. Yeah, he doesn't have, but he is he still. How the hunter scraps the uh, Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Now look at this one first. Not that easy to high ground him TNC. They they got an Ember Street with tons of armor. Just gonna spam slide of fish. They will be fine. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Ready for the crit? Here we go. Oh that Aegis get rid so quick. No more Aegis. I'm mean, yes, you need to retreat. Okay, I told you guys not at easy. Impulse Spirit with a derive with a rapier. Man, this is a big big bet for uh TNC. They know that they are losing the game. The only way to win the game is to go for some gambling like this. You know, here we go, DY Rapier, 3.3k go in his pocket. Gyrocopter is on his way to OD wipe. Nope, he's just gonna go for a um, butterfly. Butterfly? What do you think, guys? A butterfly? Root Master item stuck for so long. He, he is only around 200 gold away from his hex.
Ember Spirit. Hmm. You need to be careful because if you get caught, pretty much over this game. And I'm gonna use this Ember Spirit as a bait. His teammates are behind. Up so we're wards here. Jules farming on a low ground and catch Jules. Hands on Jules. They're going in for Jules. Where is Spit third? A stun. But Jules probably is BKB. Now they need to retreat. They already um took this bullet let that Jules use his BKB. AU is always AU. You know. If someone's gonna die in team fight gonna be a Swen always. <laughs> it's so hard for Swen to survive because he doesn't have the um, boss stuff or blink dagger, he all he can do is run. But actually he just got his blink dagger. The track item also stuck. The Wash is waiting for Ember Spirit to come out. Ultimate Orb and Lincoln Sphere for the Ember Spirit. Interesting. Lincoln Sphere for Ember Spirit. Oh, it's a very nice scout. Very nice scout using the Tanagos Rod by Zeus. And also a good chance for a or Team TNC is pushed because Zeus doesn't have his ultimate. No ult on Zeus. Take a look at this one, guys. They almost clash. Rochan is not back to online yet. Yeah! Ember Spirit. Now I got a buyback for Ember Spirit, level 25. Bottom lane Jules pushing in, trying to take down a bunch of two towers. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Jules with a um, Monkey King bar, bar fly. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Three point five K gold in TV pocket. All the core heroes uh, got a buyback, and I kind of got fraud. Big, big thing. In NT, he's just gonna get an edge, he's gonna cheese. And yep. Barrocopter with, um, with an Aegis. Faces Void with a cheese. This by 2k gold on Faces Void.
Oh man, look at the graph. The graph is dropping down to Minetti side, both golden and experience. Because because I think the items of Brute Mother and the Shrek were stuck for too long. They can't fight the faceless war in Chronosphere when they were locked down in Chronosphere. I'm gonna die because of the gyrocopter. I kind of, it's kind of weird when you go for a Lincoln Sphere. I think BKB is even better, I don't know. Maybe the reason that he go for a Lincoln Sphere, he's trying to do some, some rat dollar or something, a straight push. Because if you take a look, he, he don't want to get trapped. The only reason that he, he, he used that he, he bought that Lincoln Sphere is he don't want to get trapped by the body hunter. So... We almost reaching one hour of this game. You know, in in since point eight six, we don't actually see a, a what a one hour game much. The games all always end at around 35, 40 minutes. Now this is gonna be a big team fight for sure. Team Gigabyte Net is trying to push on the high ground, try to get their middle barracks back. He man is Ember Spirit. He can buy Minetti. He decided don't want to play it anymore. They don't want. They don't want to take a risk because they have ages of it, the immortal. Radiance top tower is under attack. Yeah. Big third hit, and here we go. Time to cross rod. Uh, not that much damage though. They got the tower. Now here we go. A Chrono Spear and a Miss Chrono Spear again by Jesse West now. It's time for Team TNC to strike back. It's gonna be Jules who goes down right here. A Miss Chrono Spear not looking good. Jules goes down to get rid of the ages. Tee looking for a chance to use his light of it, but he was hacked down. He was hacked down. What he's gonna do? Ceiling chance comes out to light of it. Ceiling so much down and face or it goes down without using any single cheese. That is a rotten cheese. Oh my goodness, a big mistake made by the Chronosphere. Ew, stepped up and he's gonna go down anyway. Look at the damage coming up from the Pati. He's slight top fences. One hit away on Cats. He TP away. Split turn. Stop him. Three now for him here by Minetti. They lost the Aegis. The cheese. 8.1k gold in his pocket for TNT TE. This is Taliban. Ember Spirit. Now they got a force that Zeus and faces void. The Garocopter to, to do a buyback. Raging Potato. Not so far away from the TNT side. Uh, faces Void finally bought back. Zeus brought back and now they're gonna retreat but it seems like oh Gyrocopter TP down on his teammates Winnergy Smalls are gonna go down no more Shen Ember Spirit gonna retreat pick up the body rune Dyer's middle tower is under attack very successful team fight very successful defending by team TNC they they, they forced team here by Minesi to do a uh, Two buybacks and yeah, get rid of ages. 
Okay, that's why I still have a cheese. Now he's just got his refresher. Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Looks like we got around 95, 9.5k viewers right now. Thank you so much for tuning in and support our tournament. You are in the second game of the best of three series of the semi finals round between Team TNC versus uh, Mineski. Both teams are from Philippines. Still don't know who's gonna come out of this bloody game alive. But if we get a chance to see game three, it's gonna be an awesome game three for sure, man. Oops. Now look at this one. They got on the high ground for Team TNC by Remnant away. A little bit misposition. I'm I'm not sure what TNC doing there. Wow, they they got they're gonna lose this middle barracks real quick because because Minesi is just gonna push in. But Minesi didn't know that PNC is not in the base. Is it a time to sell something? Oh, he got a spare the wire rap here, bro. He got a spare one. <laughs> So that means if he drops this one, he still got another one. Man, you know, if if I worry him, I'm just gonna carry two. Just YOLO, man. <laughs> I don't care. Very smart. By K Gold in bucket. Look at this cool who is waiting to catch him. By remnants away. We might get to see an 80 minute game. I think. <laughs> because because more team is saving for buybacks, they are very rich. Now if, if TNC want to fight, they have to fight now because Zoo doesn't have a buyback. Now let's take a look at this one first. Zoo in the middle, he's being in at the head. They're gonna get Zoo and they're going. Gyrocopter gonna go down. And here we go, no more Gyro. Black Hawk down, I repeat, the Black Hawk down. Oh my. No more helicopter, he need to buy back right away to stay alive in this tournament. Uh, Witch Doctor also need to buy back, they're gonna get racing, but hey, the Bounty Hunter gonna go down, and they got Bounty. Double kill, Bounty Hunter also gonna buy back. Now is the killing buyback time. Cool, who pushing on the bottom lane. Now they, yep, they, they get rid of the buyback from the Indian Biden entity. Now it's a good chance to push. What a good play by Brood Master. He blink in, he hacks him down. Kinda funny when you, ha when you see Brood Master playing this kind of role, like Initiator playing something like Hide Hunter. Instead of split pushing, because picking a brute master into a bounty hunter is very hard to play. Just one crack can easily kill you. Guys, for this one, hey, okay, AU got inside. AU got inside. Now here we go. The creep. They kind of surprised. Hey, what is AU? What is Wen doing here? Look at that. Look how annoying he is. He's trying to lure. Now blinking in. Another mistake made by Jesse Wad. A quantum fear for nothing. Now is a good chance for TNC to push in. Where is TNC? Ooh, he's very lucky for Team Mickey by Minetti. TNC choose to retreat instead of engaging. 
and Vinny G Smalls will sacrifice himself for his teammates. Are they gonna go in? Blink away once again. Here we go. A hex out. Good man. I'm gonna get. Jew is his last life. Jew cannot die right here. Hey, you were shot down in the face. In your face. You're finally coming in. By the see he doing pretty much damage. He started Cuckoo, but he cannot fight because his team is already dead. Probably the can be trying to go away, but he doesn't have a time to use his TP. He's gonna go down, he flicked away, he's still alive and a TP right after that. What a play by Raven, he got away. And it's such a crucial situation. Dyer's middle tower is under Rude attack. Martha. Oh my Jesus Christ, what a game we have here. Unbelievable. My goodness, can't believe this. <laughs> You know, you know the first match of the semi-final. Um, it was MVP Phoenix versus Team Execration. It's one of the best series I ever passed. And now this, and now this game, the second game of the second match. Man, what what a day! I spent a lot of my energy passing these two matches. My goodness. Gyro and Abyssal Blade. Very sweet. Situational items for the gyrocopter. Let's see, choose gigabyte. Bountiful. We haven't buy a divide rapier yet for the gyrocopter. Not sure what is it waiting for. Eh? If you want to win, you gotta you gotta go for the for the Y. Gotta take a risk. Illusion. Um, for now, I think PNC is trying to avoid a team fight until that age is expired. It is with, um, with a bounty hunter. When. They're gonna use this win as a bait, and then yes, it seems like Mineshi catching the bait, dropping a call down. Win to be fine. A nice chrono spear hits on to this turn. Uh, damage cannot do anything. He cannot hex because that Jesse Wedge is proper speed can be. Look at the damage coming up from T. He this one slice of fist almost killed too. They got that gyrocopter goes down, and yes, they got the Jesse Wedge as well. Ember Spirit, what a play by Ember Spirit. He's blinking on the beside that guy in. That is only one divide rep here of Ember Spirit. No buyback for the Gyrocopter for at least one and a half seconds. I'm um, sorry, one and a half minutes. Now it's a very good chance for Team TNC to finish this game. No Gyrocopter, no buyback, no everything. Ember Spirit. New scepter follow up with a split turn. Cook gonna be the next one to go down. Look how easy they can slash that seal just like a paper. Jesus Christ. Hammer Sister Paper. And you are the paper, and now he's just gonna go in. See, he dropping load. Not that low, though, he's still healthy. Trying to uh, kill him with a spell, not a good idea. Chrono Spear hit. Look at what damage is Aces actuated. Jesse Ware doesn't have that much. Uh, that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. See, he's gonna go down. And that is the Y Rapier. Picked up by Jesse Ware. He was ready for it. Jesse Ware's got a DY rap here, but no problem because he got a spare one. See, he coming back with a second DY rap here. Wow! And now he was hexed out. He was trapped. He was shooting again. The slide of fist already killed. Now T he by Rim 19. This is gonna get his sword. Going straight for the sword. D T he with a missing rape here. The lost rape here. But he got the spare one. And he gonna get the game. What a game the GG call. Oh, the 
71 minutes in, 44 game score, TNC. One over team Gigabyte Mineski, two to zero game. All right, our second fight, our second finalist. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> I am speechless. I don't know what to say about these two matches today. Finally, we get our finalist tomorrow, uh, 5 p.m. SPT is going to be Team TNC Pro Team versus Team MVP Phoenix based on 5, no handicap alright, uh, make sure you don't miss that well it was an awesome 2 matches today it's one of the best matches in my casting career and um, thank you so much everyone for tuning in and stay with me right from the start um,